Okay, today I had three trades, so I'm going to share those now. My first one was on CCL, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines. Obviously, a lot going on because of coronavirus. Um, so, this is it on the chart, and I'm going to zoom in real quick, actually. Okay, so I took it long. Uh, if you look on the one minute here, it was a harmonious chart. Every, all the... Uh, Moving averages and everything are moving upward. I got to this. It went up pretty strong, then leveled out right here at this uh, yesterday low. And it looked like this had flipped from resistance to support. So once it consolidated here and seemed to be holding, I went long here. Partialed out up to the 200, or the, we had the 200 moving average on the, on the one minute chart, which is uh, right here. So I partialed on my way up to that, and uh, it kind of looked like it might run back down and the run might be over here. So I took my last partial here. At the time, I felt really good about it because the next minute, this candle right here, um, they actually paused trading on CCL, and I was really glad that I didn't have to be stressing out throughout that pause, wondering how it was going to open back up. Um, but, you know, after looking at it now, in retrospect, uh, you know, I clearly should have held on to that last position. It ended up going pretty steadily up another, you know, almost two full dollars. So, in retrospect, you know, I could have put a stop loss, you know, at my break even point for this last partial and just let it ride. Um, and clearly I should have done that. So now I have a little bit of regret about how I managed the end of the trade, but it was a winner for me. My next trade was my losing trade of the day. It was a small loss, and what's worse is it was an early stop out. I really should not have stopped out, and uh, it did what I wanted it to do. So, nice bullish candlestick. Uh, you see it pop right down on good volume. Um, you see it it tries to run back up from the 200 MA on the 5, but it hits the 50 and it wicks it right back down. So you have a nice uh, long wick, bearish wick right here to the downside. And uh, it looked like it found, I didn't want to chase it. I started watching it at this candlestick and um, I just kept watching. I didn't want to chase it. I tried really hard to be better about buying on pullbacks. So I waited saying that uh, I wanted to get it around the, the 200 or the yeah, the 200 MA, um, and so I did. So I took it short here on the pullback, which I actually like my entry, but I told myself uh, I would give it to VWAP. And uh, if it broke through VWAP, that would be my stop out. Well, you know, on the five minute chart, it actually, you know, barely broke through VWAP before it did what I wanted. So my fear was if it went through VWAP, um, it might, a, source, a short squeeze slash VWAP breakout situation might happen and people might pile in uh, and it might get pushed all the way up to this 50 MA and I, I knew I couldn't hold till there. There's just too big a risk. So um, I jumped out, but as you can see, right after I stopped out, it did exactly what I wanted. This uh, previous day close was my profit target, you know, and I would have taken my first partial around uh, well, probably taking my first partial, you know, I was probably going to do it at 1250, then down here at um, at this le level I had, and then ultimate profit target down here, and it did exactly what I wanted, but I, I stopped myself out too soon. So again, kicking myself a little bit for the trade management there. But uh, it was only a small loser because I, I didn't give it enough room, uh, which was the problem, but the benefit is at least it was only a small loss. And my last trade of the day was on J and J, and I actually didn't follow up. Let's see how J and J did. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So I I handled this J and J trade pretty well. It didn't end up going much lower on the day. Um, so what I saw here was you see the one minute nice downward trend, harmonious chart. We get a little pullback. It hits another you know obvious moving average or level support here comes back down you see this consolidation as it decides do I want to break through previous day close or not um, but I viewed this consolidation as more bearish um, so I get in right here on the five minute chart 
right below the 200 moving average and you see this right here I got this from started using this because Thor on bearable traders this is a volume by price so basically the fact that this bar is really big what you see here is there's a lot of activity going on a lot of volume going on right here at this previous day close so I took it short and <clears throat> I pushed it out here because that was around low of the day so I wanted to get out at low of the day and then I chased it down here and I had this um, level right here that I was my ultimate profit target and it got there um, but honestly it was moving it felt in my head like it was moving pretty quick so I kind of took this last partial again too early um, I could have got a dollar more out of it but overall I'm, I'm okay with this execution and that was my day um, so two winners one loser the loser was small and should have been a winner <clears throat> but I really didn't give it enough room um, so that was poor management and the CCL trade uh, I mismanaged in that uh, you know there's a lot more meat on the bone but I'll take it and uh, yeah that was my day